everybody, it's Rocky. Uh, it is Thursday, so it's grocery haul day. Today I went to uh, Whole Foods. Um, I had to go to Best, we had to go to Best Buy and the Container Store first, so Whole Foods was just kind of on the way back. Um, so this is what I got this week. I've got uh, some egg whites, and I think I'll hold off telling you guys what I, what I got that for, because I'm kind of excited about it, and I, didn't get, I wasn't able to find all the ingredients for it, but I just got egg whites. Um, I got like a little six pack of um, brown eggs because I've been trying to up my protein and when I got the eggs, the hard boiled eggs last week for the um, unpotato potato salad that I made, I had some leftover hard boiled eggs. So I've been putting like an egg, a hard boiled egg on top of my mixed vegetables that I have for lunch and that actually comes out really good and it's you know, a way for me to get my more protein in. So I got a pack of brown eggs. I got um, three packs of this vegetable medley, and um, this is carrots, peas, corn, green beans, and baby lima beans. So I got three packs of that, and those are for my lunches throughout the week. And then I also have some more different kinds of vegetables in the freezer already. I've got some tofu shirataki that I haven't made this for a long time. When I first started Weight Watchers, I actually got this. And I made a couple of different dishes, but I don't really remember what I made. But I'm trying to make some more um, low-carb uh, recipes for all my WLS friends and, you know, for anybody who's trying to watch their, their carb intake. And this um, is actually pretty amazing. This is total carb. There's two um, servings in this package. So for one serving, it's 20 calories, uh, 5 grams, no, I'm sorry, 0.5 grams of fat. Um, three grams of carb, two grams of fiber, and then one gram of uh, protein. So I'm not really sure what all I'm going to make. I'm thinking about making this with maybe some shrimp um, and some wilted down spinach and maybe some caramelized tomatoes and then maybe put a little bit of low-fat um, Parmesan cheese on top. We'll see. Either that or I might just make like a broth. I don't know. We'll figure it out, but I'm kind of excited to use that. Uh, I'm going to make a spinach salad one of these uh, days this week with like some turkey bacon. So I got some turkey bacon and then some red onions and then make a little um, salad dressing with this brown mustard that has uh, apple cider vinegar in it. So I was kind of excited for that. And then mix this with some red wine vinegar to make a, a dressing. So I got that. Then I got another bag. Well, I got a big bag of popcorn to make my popcorn snacks. To make my popcorn snacks, I thought it was open, but just something cracking in my sink. Um, some baking soda. I actually, I actually use this on my face as a, as a toner. I mix this with a lot. I dilute it with a lot of water, and I use it um, when I'm doing this um, my aspirin mask that I've been making lately. So. That's what the, the uh, baking soda is for. I got a can of evaporated milk. And this is going to be for that recipe that I said that I didn't get all the ingredients for, but I'll tell you guys about later uh, at another time. Um, some unflavored gelatin for that same recipe that I'm being hush about. Two cans of diced tomatoes. And I'm going to make Cabernet um, Queen. Sally got me, um, I don't know, she's, she's kind of got me wanting to have uh, some more lentil, like she made this lentil bean soup, so I think I'm going to make something similar. So I got that for the lentil bean soup and then some green lentils. Anything with a bean, I'm such a sucker for, I love beans. Um, and then when I was visiting with Rosemary and Connie this past weekend in Houston, they were saying they can't find any polenta. They can't find polenta or quinoa flour in their area. Um, so I picked up some polenta for them, one box for each. And then the quinoa flour is actually at Central Market. So I'll be getting, I'll have to make a trip to Central Market this weekend because I need to get something else for that one recipe that I wasn't able to get at Whole Foods. Um, and then my last bag. Big old thing of baby spinach with spinach salad I plan to make. Spinach salad I plan to make later on this week. Um, a yellow onion for I think for 
the salad. What is this for? I think this might be for the actually for the lentil bean soup. I add a um, squash, butternut squash for the lentil bean soup. Some carrots for the lentil bean soup. Some green beans because I'm going to make. Um, I have some black bean burgers up in the freezer, so I'm going to make some black bean burgers with. Um, actually, this is all the rich guy. I usually like a lot more than this, but. Um, some green beans mixed with onion and tomatoes. I love to have that in a little side dish. So here are the little tomatoes that I got. And then a couple of um, lemons. The lemons are going to be for, what are the lemons for? I think the lemons are for the lentil bean soup. All right, so that's it. If anybody has any questions at all about anything that I got, just go ahead and put them below. And I will be back tomorrow for my weekly update. And everybody have a great night. Bye.